It was just confirmed to us by recent information that GTA 6 is actually going to have a total of 1500 plus random and world events that are actually going to be taking place for you to randomly find in game whenever you explore the map. And for those of you guys that don't know what random events are in Grand Theft Auto, random events often allow the player to make a dynamic choice and decide whether to help or hinder a bystander. There are a total of 57 random events in GTA 5, 60 in the enhanced version, and completing any 14 of these contributes towards the 100% completion. So right away, you guys will notice that in GTA 5, there is only a total of 60 of these random events for you to stumble upon on the current map. So obviously, we are getting a pretty big upgrade here in GTA 6 in terms of how many we're actually going to be getting. And luckily for you guys, we have a big, big list that we are just going to speed run through and share some of the most interesting ones that you are going to be able to find and participate in in GTA 6. This list is a mix of things that were leaked in the early alpha footage and just stuff that people were able to find in the files a little bit early. So make sure you guys get ready. There is a ton here and we are just going to rapid fire read them off just so you guys can get a good idea of the events and randomness you're going to be able to stumble upon in GTA 6. It starts off by saying in one of the leaked clips, there's a list of 500 plus world events, encounters, and Easter eggs. Some events have multiple locations. Here are some of the most interesting dynamic events that were listed in the alpha footage. And we have abandoned hovercraft, Backyard Wrestling Ring, Bait and Tackle Shop, Basketball Court, Big Cat Mansion, Bonnie and Clyde Mystery with multiple locations, Car Strip Mall, Dairy Farm, Drug House Drug Deal, Drug Lab and a Trailer Park, DUI Test, Easy Score, Fishing, Island Camping, Kidnapping Victims, Lean Cesarp Lab, <laughs> that one just sounds so funny, Music Video, A Museum, A Salon Patron, Satanist House, Scarface Crime Scene, Self Injury, again this is going to be multiple locations available. Sniper Nest, Sniper Victim Apartment, Swamp Safari Crazy Golf, UFO Animal House, Voice in a Storm Drain, which is a Pennywise reference, so we might be getting a little IT collaboration in GTA 6, which sounds interesting. Warehouse Sex Robots, Warehouse Torture, Workout Challenge, Yard Sale, and then we have another big list here that has some repeats on here, but also some new ones as well. Actually, I take that back. The list here is actually just all of the uh, previous ones we mentioned off combined here, but it does say this is only a small portion of all the world events that were actually leaked and my guess is that like I said these are going to work very similar to the random events you can actually find in GTA 5 except these ones might be just a little more naturally spawning uh, instead of GTA 5 where you could literally see them marked on the map and you could head there and you know exactly what you're going to be getting into. I think having these little mini events randomly pop up as you're doing just free play or GTA 6 online or even just the main campaign or mission and never knowing where these locations are are going to be again would be a great addition to the game. Now, I also love your guys' feedback and opinions here. There is a lot more of these planned to come out in GTA 6, so let me know your guys' thoughts. Do you think this is a good thing that Rockstar is focusing more on these events, random things happening in game and Easter eggs compared to the older games? Like GTA 5 only had 57, this game has 500 plus confirmed, and we haven't even had the full release yet, so there is probably going to be a good bit more than that once the full game is released and we're actually able to check and see everything that's in the game. But nonetheless, I'm really excited, man. Some of these little Easter eggs and scenarios that we read off sound absolutely insane. And I already have a pretty good idea in my head of what some of these are going to be like once we actually find them in GTA 6. But that's all we got for you guys today. If you want to stay up to date with everything GTA 6 related, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on. We've been posting daily videos covering all the different categories and topics of leaks, information, and basic things that we're covering here on GTA 6. So make sure you guys subscribe. Go check out the previous video if you want to stay up to date with everything. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy my friends.